So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking at this example, um, again, the main important thing, you know, when you guys have a problem like 64, again, I, I think the easiest thing to do is break this up using a factor tree. So we obviously would have 8 times 8, 4 times 2, 4 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 2. So when you count this up, 64 can be the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times two right? Or really, 2 to the fourth power times 2 squared. I'm, instead of writing them all out, which I kind of get sick of, I'm going to write it as two, 2 to the fourth times 2 squared, which is the same thing, Nick. Nick, please. It's the same thing as 2 to the sixth power. Then I can do the same thing. Well, notice that this number is smaller than my index, right? So I can't simplify this. However, y to the sixth, I can write as y to the fourth times y squared. Now, let's take the fourth root of all of these terms to the fourth power. So the fourth root of 2 to the fourth is just 2. The fourth root of y to the fourth power is just y. However, I can't do anything with 2 squared, so that's going to be 4. I can't do anything with x cubed, and I can't do anything with y squared. That's what I had. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. So what I'd like you guys to do to finish off today's